In this video, I will be investigating the world of cybercrime by navigating through various Telegram channels and servers. So in recent years, Telegram has been used as a means of conducting illicit activities due to its accessibility, its popularity, and perceived user anonymity. It provides a wide array of people to come in and chat about random stuff. So in order to make this video and investigation a little bit more interesting, I thought that I would introduce three knowledge challenges that I have to complete in order for this to be deemed a completed video. So starting off with flag or challenge number one, it's gonna be finding a malicious Delicious USB stick loader service that can be shipped to my place so that I could theoretically drop 10 USBs off in a parking lot and see if a user would pick that up. And of course, I'm only using these as hypothetical scenarios, but that's challenge number one. My second flag or knowledge challenge is to find a hacker who offers SIM swapping services and to see how much they ask for SIM swapping for one user device. And for my third knowledge challenge, I want to find a residential proxy hopping service, specifically agents that I can install on my theoretical compromised hosts so that I can receive payments in crypto and other cyber criminals can bounce their traffic on my compromised network of hosts. So this one is gonna be really hard and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to be successful, but we'll see. So three challenges, three flags. Let's see if I can do this. To help me with finding these knowledge challenges in today's video, I will be using Flare. Flare is a threat exposure management and threat intelligence platform. Flare works by continuously scanning for exposed information on the open internet and on illicit networks, including web forms, underground marketplaces, chat, and uh, different chat forms lead credentials, lookalike domains, and many more. So on the back end of Flare here, under the events tab, I can search for a specific keyword such as SIM swapping. And if we search Flare, this will provide information similar to what like a search engine would do for exposed information. Now you can see there's different alert severities and uh, you can provide the Telegram or whatever platform that may be. So here it's on Telegram channels, but you can also look for web forms, uh, leaked lookalike credentials, and many more. Scrolling through the events here, you can see that all of the events right now are on Telegram. What I can do is go to the filters option and I can filter on the open internet, leaked credentials, lookalike domains, and specifically for this video, illicit networks. We have different uh, avenues or platforms to look for this exposed information. Now for this video, I'm specifically looking for chat logs and Telegram servers that I can join to talk to malicious cyber criminals. Clicking on one of the events here, you can see the content with the specific keyword, and this is a chat log uh, exposed on this Telegram server. So you could join this theoretically and look into what is being exposed. Flare also includes identifiers. Identifiers are used to track specific keywords and assets and criteria. So here on the left, going to identifiers, you can see a few that I've already set up. Uh, USB malware, USB drive, proxy hopping for my knowledge objects. Identifiers have different types. So if you go to create identifier and then you go to the type here, you can see the types that you can include, such as a domain, a name, an email, a keyword, which is specifically what I have set up for my knowledge challenges. Uh, and what you can do here is once you go and set up the identifier, go back to the events under the tenant, you can choose whichever identifier. So for example, in today's challenge, I'm looking for proxy hopping services, and you can see proxy hopping is now highlighted as a keyword. What's really cool about Flare 2 is it will show you the most active actors for this particular keyword. Uh, it gives you the top five, and it also gives you some active sources, specifically GitHub and Toolbase in this case. By leveraging Flare's platform here, I'm gonna be using this as a means of finding the Telegram channels that I can join and uh, see if I can find my three knowledge challenges or flags in today's video. Before getting through these knowledge objects, I need to set up my virtualized environment so that I can navigate to these Telegram channels. To set up my environment, I loaded a Hunix virtual machine since it has integrated access to Tor. I downloaded the Telegram app for Linux and set up a burner phone number using Google Voice. So Telegram requires a legitimate phone number to create an account and will send an SMS verification message to ensure that you manage or own that particular phone number. 
since this is a cyber hunting exercise, I didn't actually want to use my real phone number. So I found a free workaround for generating this quote unquote virtual phone number using Google Voice, which is translatively able to communicate with your real phone number. There's an article link in the description below describing this method. So with my environment set up, it's time to hunt for my knowledge challenge flags, starting with malicious USB stick services. Searching through Flare, I attempted to find any Telegram channel selling USB sticks. At first, I had a difficult time. I couldn't find any Telegram channels selling USB sticks directly. So I set up a few identifiers on Flare, uh, specifically USB drive, USB malware, to see if Flare could identify any Telegram channels selling malicious USB drives directly. I ended up stumbling upon a few interesting finds, starting off with a dark web form called Dread, which had an interesting opportunity with USB sticks. Within this form, there's this post that was flagged by Flare, uh, which highlighted an interesting opportunity for individuals out there. Basically, they're looking for an individual to drop off a malicious USB drive within some sort of, I'm, I'm assuming parking lot or some sort of facility, and you receive 70% of the profit for each successful mission. So it's sort of an interesting opportunity here for those looking to make maybe some extra revenue. And of course, I'm only joking, uh, but this doesn't, I guess, complete my telegram channel, but this is an interesting thing that I wanted to highlight just to say, hey, there are opportunities out there like this, which is pretty crazy to think about. After bookmarking this opportunity, I once again used Flare to find any related Telegram channels. Using the string metadata.source Telegram, I could filter for only Telegram channels. I eventually found a channel called Data Leak Monitor, which appeared to be a bot posting news related to data leaks. This eventually led me to crdcrew.cc web form with an admin selling USB sticks. I decided to reach out to them directly on Telegram to see if they were able to ship me a USB stealer. Okay, so after some follow-up here, I was able to get a purchase price for five USB stealers. It's gonna cost me $50 to buy the USBs and ship via FedEx. Now, is this legitimate? I have no idea, but I was able to navigate a price here and we'll see if um, this actually would work. I don't know, I can't give money to cyber criminals, but you know, it's interesting to see. I can get some stealers, basically $10 a USB. Okay, so with challenge one complete, it's time to get onto the SIM swapping service and see how much I can get for SIM swapping. Not only did I find guides on SIM swapping specifically, within a matter of a few minutes, I was chatting with two individuals about hacker for hire SIM swapping opportunities. The first hacker expended more on their opportunity and provide some interesting insights. After exchanging hello messages, I was able to learn this individual was selling a SIM swapping service for $200. And to make sure this was a nice scam, I asked if I could send like one half in the beginning and then one half after in crypto. And I guess that was fine with this individual. Uh, so after SIM swapping my hypothetical quote unquote friend, uh, I said I would reach out to him the next day. I uh, sent him a Creed meme from the office and was on my way. So with a $200 investment, I could SIM swap myself or my theoretical virtual friend. But you know, I decided to move on to my next challenges, earning a passive income. It's very important we do this. I'm joking. For the residential proxy hopping agent service, this one I think is gonna be a hard challenge. We're gonna go out and see if I can find these services and how much they cost. So I started off on Flare with a channel called Silver Bullet and it mentioned residential proxies. So after scrolling through the channel, I stumbled upon an individual called Dragon who was selling access to a proxy service called ProxyScape, which is actually a legitimate service used for proxy hopping internet traffic. But I was more interested in loading malicious agents onto my theoretical hack devices so I could earn some passive income. So I ended up just messaging the entire channel full of thousands of members about my inquiry. And within a matter of about one minute, an individual by the name of Yi DM'd me about installing some proxy agents on my theoretical compromised hosts. After some initial dialogue about the opportunity, I told them I needed to install some agents on my compromised host for income and I asked what the price would be per agent and they said $30 per agent. So my total would come to $6,000 for loading my theoretical agents on 200 compromised hosts. All right, so I have uh, been chatting with an individual who sells a residential proxy and I can add my hypothetical compromised hosts 
to this proxy. I just have to buy the agent and I'll receive my funds through crypto, uh, I guess on a monthly basis. I don't know. But anyway, I basically have found a way to add an agent onto residential proxies or compromised hosts. So basically what I found here is a way to extract extra revenue from my hypothetical compromised hosts by loading this agent where other bad actors can, you know, pop their own traffic through. Uh, so again, this was super easy and I did this all through one specific channel called Silver Bullet Chat and I literally just put this out there that I'm looking for this service. After some follow up on the next day, this individual was eager to get my status and why I ghosted them and I just told him real life stuff. and. Well, after this discourse, it was time that I ditched this conversation and mark my third knowledge challenge flag as complete. Conducting cyber hunting and investigations on Telegram channels or servers is really interesting. It's interesting to see how quick cyber criminals will get back with you offering their services, whether these are scams or not is an investigation in and of itself, but it's interesting to see what you can find. So the big thanks for Flair for sponsoring today's video uh, in this series. In my next video, we're going to be looking at initial access brokers, IABs, uh, and their services, what they are, and kind of see how much those cost. So uh, on to the next video in this series. And yes, until the next video, have a good day.